Hello fellow fragrance lovers and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to sniff some amazing, I think they're going to be amazing, this is a blind sniffing party so to speak, but some amazing fancy niche expensive fragrances from Neiman Marcus. And if you watched my new Twilly O Ginger video that I just uh, put out yesterday, you know that I went to Neiman Marcus. I had a ball just sniffing perfumes openly for the first time since pre-pandemic because they had been, you know, kind of off limits. You had to ask for them. And now everything is has pretty much opened up. So I was able to just go on a perfume sniffing bonanza. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I came home, <laughs> I reached, okay, because I probably had, I don't know, 25, 30 perfumes on me. That is really the important thing about samples. So I'm going to talk a little bit for a second about samples. Yes, are there people who take advantage of samples? Yes, yes, yes. I worked behind a cosmetics counter for years, and I freelanced in the beauty industry for years. Yes, there are annoying people who come and they just want free samples and they never buy anything and they waste your time. Absolutely. If you work in the in the beauty industry um, or have or work at department stores and you've had that experience, let me know in the comments below. It's really frustrating because, I mean, look, I was never stingy with samples. I always gave them out, but it was frustrating when you know, they didn't lead to any sales. But I think a good customer service person in the beauty industry knows that there are people who will come back and buy the fragrance after they have sampled them. It's really hard when you're going around and you're smelling multiple fragrances, you know, on the same day. And yes, you can like smell the coffee beans in between, but you know, sometimes your skin chemistry is different on certain days. Sometimes the weather is a factor. I think to truly know if you really like a perfume or not, you have to give it a good wear test a couple times to see how it's going to react and mingle with your chemistry and everything. So I think samples are really crucial for that, especially with the very expensive fragrances, niche fragrances, um, particularly where, you know, I, at least for me, I'm a teacher and I cannot afford to blind buy $300, $400 bottles of fragrance. But if I sampled one for a little while and fell in love with it and decided I had to have it in my life, I could save up for it, you know, and buy that one. So I think sampling is really important and it's really great that we're able to do some more of that. Yes, you can order samples. There are certain um, websites that I like for um, sampling, uh, particularly uh, Twisted Lily and Lucky Scent. They're great. You can get um, samples sent right to your house, which is very nice. But I still just love the experience of going to the department store or whatever store you're going to and having that experience with a knowledgeable sales associate who can direct you correctly. <laughs> so the, uh, so I went there, I got my, my Twilly, well, sorry, I'm repositioning myself. <laughs> I got my Twilly O Ginger last week and the ladies at Neiman Marcus at King of Prussia were very generous, gave me some samples to try of some other things. So I am thrilled. And this isn't all of them, but I didn't want to be overwhelmed by too many smells. So there are a few more that I might do in another video, but I'm really excited for these because I've heard a lot of buzz about them. We're going to see how it goes. Okay. So the first two samples I have here are from Tiziana Terenzi, and I have never even smelled anything from Tiziana Terenzi, but I hear one of my favorite perfume YouTubers, AI the Great, talk about this uh, house quite a bit. So um, there is a wonderful lady um, at the Neiman Marcus in King of Prussia. Her name is Angela, so go see her <laughs> if you are there, and uh, she specializes in uh, Tiziana Terenzi, so she gave me these to try. If you're, if you're close by, this is my other plug for the King of Prussia Neiman Marcus, because I just think the people there are fabulous. So I know a lot of you watching have access to it. Go see Angela Tiziana Terenzi. So this first one is Atlantide from the Sea Stars collection. I mean, 
even the little sample boxes are pretty, right? The other thing I really like about these is they put the notes on the box. So I didn't have to look them up. That's fabulous because I always research my fragrances. Usually, usually. Now, I am a little scared about this one because the top notes are tuberose, absolute, bergamot, rose, and passion fruit. And you know, I have this thing about tuberose, don't like it, but I'm going to give this a fair shot. Mid notes are cassis, red berry, narcissus, oris, orange blossom, and tuberose. Oh, double tuberose. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. And base notes are musk, benzoin, and ambergris. The bottles, by the way, of the Seasar collections are absolutely fantastic. I'm going to spray this on my hand because if I don't like the tuberose. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, I mean, I can tell the tuberose is there, but because of what it's blended with, it's actually very nice. And this is very... I mean, I think Atlantide, Atlantide is a good name for it. It it smells really beachy, but not coconut beachy, not, you know, not that like pineapple coconut type of beachy, and it's not sunscreen beachy. It's more of the salt air and, and maybe some flowers. Well, you know, I'm surprised because of the double tuberose. I really thought I was going to hate this. It's really pretty. So this, I would say, is very feminine. It's very feminine. It is, um, I'd say it's like medium as far as, as strength, potency. It's not light. I mean, it's not like a, you know, light little spritzy kind of thing. <laughs> But it's not overwhelming either. I don't think this would be overly cloying or anything. Yeah, you know, I think it has a nice balance because of the musk. Um, and of course, yeah, you get the you get the flowers and a little bit of fruitiness. So it's it's a nice balance of of those notes. It's really pretty. So if you like, this makes me think of like white linen pants. <laughs> like you're walking on the beach in white linen pants and maybe one of those, one of those like beachy thin sweaters with like the nautical stripes. That's what this makes me think of. I know that might sound strange, but... <laughs> So yeah, it's actually really beautiful. So that is Atlantide from the Sea Stars collection from Tiziana Terenzi. Limelight lasts two thumbs up. I actually find that very pleasant. This, that's a beautiful fragrance. Okay, so here is the next one, also from Tiziana Terenzi, Sea Stars collection. And this one is called Pat Poggia? 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 I hope I said that right. I'm going to go with Poggia. It's Italian. I, I'm i Italian, so I should know this, but <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. But it's P-O-G-G-I-A. Hopefully it's Poggia. All right. This one has top notes of Calabrian bergamot, Sorrento lemon, uh, Syracusean blood orange, and yellow peach. I'm very intrigued by those top notes. The mid notes are rosemary, Polynesian, Lang Lang, Turkish rose, green apple, and passion fruit. Base notes are musk, Madagascar, and vanilla, and ambergris. These sound much more like the notes that I typically like. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I can already tell this is up my alley. Mmm. <laughs> It's still beachy, but it does still remind me of the beach, but this is more of like warm sun, a little bit fruity. Pick up the vanilla in it. Definitely the musk and ambergris. This is much, those notes stand out a lot more than in the other one. Oh, it's pretty. 
Yeah, it's um it's very classy, mature. Definitely deeper. Hmm. It reminds me of something. Now, to be honest, I don't smell much of the fruits. Like the green apple, it's in there, but it's much more in the background. Same with the peach and the passion fruit. Like it's not really, it's not citrusy, even though it has the bergamot, lemon, and blood orange. It's strange because, I mean, there is the touch of citrus, but it's not a, like a burst of citrus. Yeah, it's a, it's kind of um, actually more on the kind of woody side, but still, it's like beachy woody, beech wood. Wow, that's really pretty. So I'd say that's another limelight last two thumbs up. That is Poggia from the Tiziana Terenzi Sea Stars collection. This is going well so far. All right, so my other fragrance friend over at Neiman Marcus is a lovely lady named Danielle, and she's the one that helped me with the Twilly O Ginger. So she told me some fragrances that have really been buzzed about a lot in the fragrance world, and I have not tried these. So I was really excited um, to be getting samples of them. So this first one is the Harmonist Hypnotizing Fire. Now I like anything that refers to fire. I like fire fragrances. I'm hoping I like this. This also has the notes on the box, which I love. So it's kind of weird how they're listed because I don't know if they're separate or they go to, I don't know. It says top notes, pimento, berries, pepper, tree, and cloves. Uh, the mid notes are praline, Bulgarian rose, and patchouli. And the base notes are vanilla, aquaponics, and benzoin. I like all of these notes, so I have high hopes. We will see. Ooh. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, my gosh. This is, like, my dream scent. <laughs> oh, no. Because you know what's going to happen is I'm going to want to buy these. And they're really expensive. Oh, this is, like... This is bonkers. Like, oh my gosh, I love it. So if you like, um, if you like By the Fireplace, Replica By the Fireplace, it's um, similar but doesn't smell exactly the same. Oh my gosh. It's very like clovey and spicy and it doesn't list, it doesn't list cinnamon but it smells very cinnamony to me. Now, I will say I would not wear this right now because it is like dead of summer, super hot. You know, it's like 95 degrees today. But, oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> Fall and winter. I better start saving up for this now. I've never smelled pimento in fragrance, I don't think. But it's good. And it is very peppery. But it's sweet. So it has that fireplace type of smell. But also a little sweet. But I'm, the cloves are really sticking out to me. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one is like, if I could give more than two thumbs up two thumbs and like a toe. I won't show you my toe. That's kind of weird, <laughs> but uh, definitely limelight last two thumbs up for the Harmonist hypnotizing fire. I am hypnotized by this. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. How did I not smell this before? It's mm, yummy. I'm going to be probably blowing through that sand. Even though it's, it's like 95 degrees, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait. I'll be in air conditioning. When I'm in air conditioning, it'll be fine. Okay. Wow. That was a winner. All right. The next one that is uh, apparently getting a lot of buzz is this Clive Christian uh, Crab Apple Blossom. Clive Christian Crown Collection, to be specific. 
And I have never smelled anything from this house. So again, I'm excited about it. Now, when I first saw the name, I was like, mm, I don't know, crab apple blossom. I'm not really into like apple-y things. But I researched the notes on this one and it might be okay because the top notes are sea notes, apple blossom, and bergamot. Mid notes are mojito and rhubarb. I mean, mojito is like one of my favorite drinks ever. And then the base is driftwood and sandalwood. So I'm imagining this is going to be maybe kind of beachy, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, okay. This is very, um, it doesn't smell, doesn't really smell like apples to me. Um, this is another, I mean, from what I can tell so far, it smells like the beach, like beach towns being at like a beach bar, but like a classy beach bar. I get that mojito definitely very prominently. And I love mojitos. But the, you know, it's just general C notes. And that's kind of what I get. It's like, just like the way the air smells down at the shore. I think that's what we say. I'm from, I'm from, I'm from the Philly suburbs. Well, the whole Philly area says down the shore when they're talking about going to the Jersey Shore. I don't know what you say if you're somewhere else. But it's that like general smell. It's very pleasing. Yeah, and you get a little bit of that tartness from the rhubarb. And the driftwood and sandalwood is there. It's just, it might we might get it more in the we. Who's we? I don't know what we're talking about here. I might get it more in the dry down. Because it's there. I can smell it in the background. But really the C notes and the mojito. But this isn't like, this isn't like the type of mojito. Like there are mojito like body sprays, like Bath and Body Works type of sprays that smell like that. Again, not knocking them. I like those types of things too. But this is a more grown up bougie version of that, I guess is <laughs> what. So man, I'm on fire here. The uh, Crown Collection Crab Apple Blossom from Clive Christian. Another limelight last two thumbs up. Okay, last one for today, because I don't want to get too overwhelmed with too many perfumes. But the next one is another house, never smelled anything from. It's uh, Liquids Imaginaires. I, again, my pronunciation is probably terrible, but Liquids Imaginaires. And this one is Fleur de Sable. And the top notes in this one, oh wait, there's not top. It, when I looked these up, they were just all together. They weren't like distinguished between like top, mid, and base. So here are the notes. Um, eglantine rose, paprika, myrrh, which is my favorite fragrance note, orris root, another note in a lot of my favorite fragrances, pink pepper, also in a lot of my favorite fragrances, black pepper, and mandarin orange. So again, I kind of thought with the name like Fleur de Sable that this was going to be very flowery, and it might be. I don't know. I didn't smell it yet. But I was pleasantly surprised that those other notes were in there. Okay. Ooh. Mmm. Um, it's very rosy. Well, that's interesting because it's rosy. But it's like peppery. It's a peppery rose, so... It's, um, you know what, it, it kind of reminds me, not exactly the same, but it reminds me of my favorite in the Twilly lineup, which is the second one, the Eau Pauvron or whatever it's called. Yeah, you know what, actually it's, it's similar to that. Um, this has a little more complexity though, because that one only has like three notes or something in it. I am getting the paprika. And a little bit of the myrrh. And then the orange is subtle, but it's there. This is really different smelling. Like, I don't think it would be smelling like a lot of other people with this, which is good. Yeah, it's if if you like really different rose scents, like not traditional rose scents, but rose scents with a little oomph. 
This is good. Yeah, it's it's just a kind of a strange combination, but in a good way. Because it is like rose and paprika. And and pe and those peppery notes. Wow, it's very very pretty. So, um you know, it's not like an in your face rose and even even by now like the rose is dying down a little bit. I'm interested to see how this wears, you know, we'll see how the dry down is, but I'm going to say Fleur de Sable from Liquids Imagineers is another Limelight Last two thumbs up. Winning, winning today with these fragrances. So there you have it. Those are some really amazing fragrances from Neiman Marcus. And not that Neiman Marcus is the only place you can get these, but... That's where I found them. And again, uh, thank you to the fabulous ladies at the King of Prussia, Neiman Marcus, Angela and Danielle. Go see them. They will definitely hook you up and share their knowledge with you. <laughs> They're very, very knowledgeable. And I'm hoping to do a few more of these niche sampling videos, uh, let you know whether these are worth the money and all of that stuff. So let me know what you think in the comments. And again, if you have not subscribed to my channel so far, please do so. I would really appreciate it. Share all of that good stuff. Like, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.